everyone thank you so much for liking my first ever blog on makeup in today's video i'm going to show you how to apply foundation on a daily basis so let's get started um as i mentioned in my blog the most important thing when starting makeup is applying a moisturizer so the moisturizer that i'm using today is the e45 moisturizer this really suits my skin because i have sensitive skin so let's get started i'm going to first pump up a pea-sized amount onto my hand another tip when when applying moisturizer would be just rub your hands really well it's easy to spread and then just dab it on your face and i'm just making sure that i cover all the parts of my face including my under eye my ears and my neck as you can see there isn't much left so i'm going to take a teeny size Rub it again and just apply it all over my neck. Now the key is, you once you've applied the moisturizer, this moisturizer will act as a uh, layer between the foundation or any makeup that you use on your face. And I'm going to let it dry. Otherwise, when you put the foundation on, it's going to look a bit cakey. And when I say cakey, it means it's going to look a bit fake. So I'm going to let it dry. Now the foundation that I'm currently using is the Guerlain foundation. And this I really like because the logo is really amazing. It smells really great because there's moisturizer. I can't open the top. So give me a second. Also, the shade that I'm using is 04 Beige, if you can see. Okay. Now I am going to just try and open this. What I'm going to do is, because I really like foundations which have a pump attached to it, the ones where you have to open it and pour it onto your hand, it's sometimes more, it's sometimes less, and it gets a bit messy. So I really like foundations which have a pump attached to it. So I'm going to take just one pump, which is that much. Now, as I mentioned, I really love applying foundation using a brush. And the reason is because when you use a brush, it looks really smooth it blends in really well it doesn't look like you've applied a foundation i personally do not like a flat brush which um, i'll show you shortly uh, this is a sleek makeup brush which is a flat foundation brush uh, what happens is when you apply the foundation you tend to go that way but it shows lines when you apply it and spread it onto your face. That's why I do not prefer using a flat brush. What I'm gonna use in today's video is my favorite ever. If you can see, this is the Face Expert Brush by Real Technique. So what I'm gonna do is dab it on, start from the center of my face, go onto the other side, and then onto my forehead. And just, Whatever is left, I'm just going to take that and just spread it onto my neck. Now I look really funny, but let's get started. So I'm going to go from the center of my nose and take it outward. And then what I'm going to do is just move it in circular motions so that there isn't any harsh line attached or any harsh line onto my face. And then I'm going to go onto my forehead and then come down. And just making sure that I cover all the parts on my face. Now again, I'm going to go under the center, move outside and just move it in circular motion. Again, onto my ear. Please don't forget, I've seen a lot of videos on Facebook and read a lot of blogs. People often do not cover their ears and it tends to look a bit fake or unnatural so just make sure you have blended the foundation really well and what i'm going to do now is just come down and apply it all over my neck as well now if you can see i've applied it all over my face but what i'm doing again is just giving it a bit more time to set it in by moving my brush so I'm just making sure my ear is covered because I don't want to look flawless here and have a different look or a different color onto my ears so just making sure I've covered all of that 
Yeah, I think I am happy with this. Um, in this video, I haven't applied a concealer, but I'll do another video where I'll show you how to apply the concealer and which concealer kind of fits in really well with a brown skin or an Indian skin. Moving on, the next step is actually setting your foundation using a powder. And this is, again, really, really important. So three things. One, start with a moisturizer. Second, have a foundation. Third, setting the foundation. Now, to set the foundation as well, I'm going to use my favorite brush by Real Technique. This is a buffing brush. And what this does, it really helps set your foundation, and especially when you're using a powder. So in today's video, what I'm going to use is Max Factor natural minerals and this is in shade 70 natural as you can see i absolutely love this product it is absolutely damaged because i have used this far far too long so let's get started this does come with a tiny little brush attached to it so you could use this brush but because it's gone really old uh, the bristles have become really hard and they aren't quite soft and especially when you're using something on your face you need something which is really nice and soft so i really like the real techniques so brush um, all of it and specifically in today's video I'm using the buffing brush so what I'm gonna do because it's a powder it's a loose powder you need to be really careful so I'm gonna just dab a little bit which is a lot again if you can see so I'm just gonna take the excess off because it's far too much and now what I'm going to do is just again go in circular motions and just set my foundation. So again, if you notice, I started from the middle of my nose or rather middle of my face and just covered the remaining area. I'm just going to dab in a little more and then cover the other side of the face. Just cover the nose. My forehead, my ears, and my neck. Just making sure that I have set the foundation really, really well. And I think I'm happy with it. I know I tend to do this circular motions, um, this kind of circular motion far too long, but it's just because I want to make sure that the foundation lasts quite long. Um, also something else I wanted to share is that this powder that I'm using is actually a foundation. It's a powdered foundation. So I would recommend that if you do not want to use a foundation on a daily basis, you could use a powdered uh, foundation, which you can use it and just dab it on. Um, and use a brush again in a circular motion to set it on. It will last much longer than just taking a puff and just dabbing it on your face. Now to complete this look, um, I'm just going to use a gloss, which is the Lacme Absolute 9 to 5. No, it's Lacme Absolute Plum and Join, and it says 3D gloss. So I'm not quite sure uh, how it's going to look 3D, but hey. Also, if you can see, I haven't quite used this. I'm just going to open it now and see how it is. Um, so it's a nice peachy uh, pink color and it has quite a bit of a gloss. I'm not quite sure as yet as to how this is looking, but I think I like uh, the shine that it has. It looks really nice, but maybe I'm not quite sure. But anyways, um, you can leave your comments and uh, suggestions or feedback about how this is if you have used this. So let me know. Once again, thank you so much, guys. Uh, see you soon. Bye.